Today's date is Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. I'm Richard Otto. This is Steve Rand. And this is The Gold Spot. You know, Steve, inflation seems to be kicking its head again. Recently, as a matter of fact, I think it was on Monday, the uh, government announced that there's over 40 million people on food stamps in the United States, and they've given them a raise of 25%. The paper price of gold seems to be re reacting one way. The physical price of gold seems to be going a little bit differently. What's, up? What's going on, Steve? You know, it's it's a lot of it is the you know the the bullion banks that are largely trying to keep the price down. They've got these large short positions on the physical market. They can't deliver on the contracts, and they're doing everything in their power to be able to keep these prices down. But when you look at the actual physical physical side of the market, it's it's you know, still very very difficult to get any quantity of any of any products. Uh, we have very few sellers out there in the market. So it's showing us that when you look at that available supply of the physical market. It's, it's going to get more and more squeezed over time. Uh, there's more buying right now by central banks. I mean, in fact, last, you know, if you look at the, the first half of this year, over 333 tons of gold purchased by central banks just in the first half of this year. 56% increase in quarter two alone, which is the largest since 2013. That tells you something. You know, Steve, it seems to me like a lot of these numbers are not adding up. It doesn't seem like it, they passed the smell test. Yeah, there's no question. In fact, overnight, there was a huge story about um, a data mining company, a huge company founded by Peter Thiel from PayPal called Palantir, and they purchased $50.7 million worth of gold in August, which tells us something because this company is working with the CIA, the NSA, the FBI, the U.S. military, special ops intelligence, and if they're buying this much gold in, in the month of August alone, because of what they say is concerned about a black swan event, what do they know that we don't know? You know, Steve, that's a good question. And I think it's a really good reason why people should watch the next gold spot. Thanks very much.